EPCAMRA is a regional environmental nonprofit organization that was founded back in 1996. We do a lot of community outreach, uh, community organizing, these types of litter cleanups here within the communities and streamside cleanups. We've been doing this uh, four years now. I know I've made it a personal mission of mine to make sure we try and get a lot of the litter and trash and illegal dumping out of this town that's been historically dumped on for decades now. I think this is about the sixth time I've been here and second cleanup that I've come to. You know, just because this place um, is uh, mostly uninhabited, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's no reason to dump your trash here. This place often just gets neglected. More litter and debris is here because there's no police presence. We clean up trash and then there's more there, but if we weren't here cleaning up something, then um, there'd be a lot more of it. We are making a difference. We are cleaning up, uh, getting a lot of tire, everything from tires to bed frames to garden, uh, garden waste, uh, home waste. We have an obligation to come down here and coordinate a cleanup every year with, with the amount of people that come through Centralia and you know the name that it's gotten, if the least that they can do is volunteer a few hours out of a day to come clean it up and uh, help us beautify the area because it is kind of now growing back into what looks to be a forest. We may not be able to get the graffiti off the roads, but we sure can get rid of the trash and the illegal dumping that's gone on for far too long. I, I'm estimating the amount of trash that we've taken out of here in the last three years, not including today, um, well over 20 tons of trash. Uh, I know we've taken out over 500 plus tires, uh, a number of white goods like uh, washers and dryers and refrigerators that have been over the hill that we've had to bring up and, and get rid of. And we're making a lot of progress. We're making a big dent in it um, in terms of pulling out the trash. When we come back from year to year, in most parts of the town, it's staying relatively clean but it's not entirely cleaned up so we kind of got to keep at it because if you don't the piles are just going to get bigger and bigger like the the one you see behind me. I'm an admin for the Wicked Jeeps PA Coal Region. Um, we got several different chapters. Three of us are here today. Uh, do a lot of community stuff so just another chance for us to come give back to a community, uh, get our guys together, do something a little bit different. We've been up here, this is the uh, second year we've been up here with them, and uh, we, could see, we could see it making a difference from last year. So we're getting a dent, it's gonna take some time, not gonna save the world in one day, but we're definitely gonna put a dent into it. Why people dump so much around here is, is obviously because nobody's looking. You know, they're midnight marauders, they're coming out late at night, and if they are coming during the day, they got it you know, covered over in their beds of their car, and they're coming here and sliding it off and throwing it over the hill or they're doing landscaping or doing some contract work and they're, they're getting rid of their stuff very easily. Instead of going to a landfill, which might be too far away for them to uh, take their, their waste and get rid of it, or they don't want to pay the bag fee, you know, that they're paying to get rid of their trash. Centralia is not a landfill. It's still a community, whether or not people are living here. There are still people that come back that visit their family's graves and their relatives that are still living. So, um, yeah, we want to show some more respect to the community and. I know the graffiti doesn't really do that, and I can understand why former residents and even current residents kind of despise, you know, whoever comes down here and does this and thinks it's art. Um, it's really not, it's really disrespectful. So, and even dumping the trash here is, is even worse. And for those people that are down here that are doing the illegal dumping, I don't know, you know, down the road here, you never know. We may find a surveillance camera system in, uh, in this neck of the woods here down the road. And we're gonna go after some grants and see if we could do something and uh, maybe catch some people and make an example out of them. Because I think that should be done. You know, if you wanna dump illegally in somebody's backyard, you know, you at least deserve to come out here and help us clean it up if you get caught and pay the fine as well. And it's just 75 bucks a ton. And I, I can guarantee you we're gonna pull out about 13 or 14 tons here today. And that money's gotta come from somewhere. It's five bucks a tire, it's $35 a TV. You know, all those costs add up for a community that doesn't have any money to do that. You know, they're dependent on groups like ours to maybe come in and, and help out any way we can. But and even for us to do that, we need to ask for help. And so uh, that's what we would really look for. And there are ways to donate to our organization that we would restrict the funds for cleanups just like this. And that, that would be real appreciative. And they can do that through fcamera.org and there's efforts uh, um, and links through our website that uh, orcentraliapa.org is another site that gives you the, the background and the history of the things that we've been doing down here the last few years. We really just want to see this place cleaned up so that if in fact there is something down the road for the town, knowing that people can't move back in, that environmentally at least it can be a clean green space and that's what our, our, we're hoping for.